We ask God for lots of things, don't we? And rightly so, for he is our loving Heavenly Father. The type of prayer that asks God for our needs and for the needs of others is called the prayer of petition. And there's one passage in the Bible that really jumps out at me in this regard. Jesus said, Your heavenly Father knows what you need before you ask him. Your heavenly Father knows what you need before you ask him. This then begs the question, if he knows what I need before I ask, and he knows what I'm going to ask, then why doesn't he give it to me? It's a reasonable question, so what's the answer? The answer is, he already has. God has already given us a superabundance of his grace and blessings sufficient for all we need. He really has. Everything we need, he has already given to us. Well, you might well ask, where did he put it? Because it didn't make its way to my door. Maybe there's some kind of disconnect. Maybe the disconnect lies in the word need. God also said, your ways are not my ways. So perhaps our understanding of need indeed doesn't match up with God's. Let's explore this via a little thought experiment. What is it that you need most right now? Let's go for broke. What are the top three things you need right now? If you could have anything in the world and all you had to do was ask, what would you ask for? Take a few seconds and think about it. Okay, no hands, but how many of us need most of all more of the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and love? How many had some of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit in mind. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, piety, or fear of the Lord. How many needed more of the Beatitudes in our lives? To be poor in spirit, to hunger and thirst for righteousness, and so on. God does know what you and I need before we ask, but so many of us haven't asked him for it yet. That is, we haven't asked him for what we really need yet. Perhaps we say, God, I need more this and more that, more stuff. No, you want more stuff. What you really need is generosity to give and not to get. Lord, I need my brother, my sister, my co-workers, my spouse to quit being so annoying. Perhaps what you need is patience, and God put them there to be the means by which you learn patience, which is what you need the most. Lord, I need you to heal my spouse, my father, my mother, my child who is suffering so much. Lord, I need to know why this tragedy has befallen those I love, why the ones I love so much have died. Our Lord knows that in cases like this, we are truly asking for something we need, something with his grace that we can make sense of. Sometimes all we can do is use that grace to put our faith in him and trust him. He is our loving father and sees all things in the context of eternity, while our view is finite, though the pain is quite real. I want to assure you that he knows our pain 
and shares it with us in these most trying of circumstances. In a few minutes, we'll be saying the Our Father. Today, let us pray the prayer Jesus gave us, keeping in mind what we need. Yes, our material needs, but more importantly, what we truly need, those spiritual gifts that will make us more like our Lord Jesus Christ. And we will be receiving our Lord in the Eucharist, the word that came down from heaven, who always did the will of our Father. May what we yearn for the most is to do the same. That is what we truly need to do the will of the Father. And truly, that is what the world needs most of all. 